<laughs> um, literally so freaking sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hey babes, so welcome to another vlog. So as you can tell by the title, we are going to New York Fashion Week. Wow, okay, literally wow. I'm so excited to go to New York Fashion Week. This is my first time going to New York Fashion Week and actually experiencing the shows and the events and things like that. So I am so excited about this opportunity. So this prep with me vlog, you're gonna get all the good stuff on how I pack, what I pack, and how I stay organized when packing, along with like doing my hair and just all of that good stuff that you need to do whenever you're, you know, traveling out of town. So before we get into this video, we gotta get this skin right, okay? Cause like whenever you're going to New York Fashion Week, the skin has to be skinning. So I'm so excited to partner with Dramatica to show you my personalized treatment that has been helping your girl out with her skin. Okay, so thank you to Dramatica for sponsoring this video. I've been using Dramatica for about two weeks now and literally I've been seeing a difference in my skin probably within the first few days of using it. And the reason why I started using Dramatica is because I do have trouble skin. I'm very open about like the issues that I have with my skin. Mostly my skin is like if you can see I just have like some hyperpigmentation, like dark spots. And I do have a little bit of texture here like on my cheeks that's really like my skin issues i occasionally get acne every now and then whenever it is that time of the month my main concerns are just like my hyperpigmentation and i've really been trying to work on that within the past two years because you guys know like being on camera you want your skin to be at its best because you have literally thousands of people watching it but on top of that i'm always constantly putting on makeup whenever i am like doing videos and sometimes i want to go bare face but i'm always like very self-conscious about like my dark spots like right here in my cheek area so i was just like yes we have to this together so if you haven't heard of dermatica they do create personalized treatments tailored to your skin needs and they are capable of targeting multiple concerns at once it is a prescription based treatment and one of the things that i love so much is that as your skin changes so does your prescription so dermatica prescription treatments are best known to solve like anti-aging boost skin glow reduce breakouts um and acne hyperpigmentation and also rosacea and melasma we're just going to do my skincare routine really quick um and then we're going to put on this here which is the product that I'm using to help with my hyperpigmentation. Okay, so like I said, you just start off by cleansing your face. So this is like my evening routine. You're just making sure that you just remove the dirt, the excess oil, all of that stuff out of your face. Their evidence-based ingredients are tested through hundreds of independent clinical trials. So it's proven to be effective and boost your skin health. The Dermatica Dermatology team provides ongoing support just to make sure that you are getting the best skin treatment. They're gonna also share tips and tricks to make caring for their skin like a bit easier. Cause like, come on, let's let's be real. Sometimes doing skincare can be very overwhelming. You're, you're constantly in a battle like, okay, well, which step is next? You know, do I use this before this? What products work for me and things like that. And like I said, it could just be a lot. So just having a team on your end, just to check in with you and help you get the best for your skin just really helps out a lot so I love that now I'm gonna follow up with a toner just to get started with Dermatica which is super easy for me all I had to do was answer a few questions what was my main skin concerns like what did I want to see improve and then also just upload some um, pictures so the Dermatica team can really get a better look at your skin and then once I did that girl just submit and just wait they do all the work for you. It does come into this little box here and it does give you directions and also the ingredients so you know exactly what you're putting on your face and I absolutely love that, it's very transparent. So for my treatment, all I have to do is just cleanse my face. I did do toner, but then I just wait for my skin to dry and then I go in with my treatment. Here again is the treatment bottle. It has a pump here. So you just do one to two pumps here and that's all you need. And then literally I just rub my fingertips and then distribute the product all over my face. This product is very lightweight and one of the things that I really love about this product because you guys know me I always talk about this my skin is super super sensitive I always have a hard time whenever I am trying new products but like I said I've been using this product for two weeks now no breakout I haven't had a reaction to this product like I said I have literally been seeing results on my skin like they look it looks brighter I'm gonna insert some before and after pictures but it definitely looks brighter and it has cleared up a lot of my hyperpigmentation which I absolutely love I am New York Fashion Week ready, okay? The skin is about to be so nice, smooth, and glowy. Dermatica is different from any other hyperpigmentation cream. They are creating a personalized treatment to target your skin needs and any other concerns that you may have with your skin. And again, you get ongoing support from your Dermatica team. You can reach out at any point in time if you have any questions. They're gonna help you along your skin journey. Like I stated, the prescription strength
plant and evidence-based ingredient. Makes Dermatica an extremely effective treatment so you can receive better results and more quickly. But I can only tell you so much. You have to try it out for yourself so you can see what I'm talking about. Everything will be listed in the description box down below. And you can use my code DAQUAN for your first month free. Yes, girl, first month is free. And then for your second month, you get 10% off, which is usually about $24.99. So we love that. Like I said, you get to try it out for yourself so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you to Dramatica for sponsoring this video. And I'm about to go ahead and put some moisturizer on my face and we're gonna go ahead and get into the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. So this vlog is probably going to be my prep with me vlog. As you can tell by the title, your girl is going to New York Fashion Week. Okay, I'm so excited, but also very nervous at the same time because it's going to be a solo trip. Um, and I'm just nervous because like I don't, I have never really been anywhere by myself solo. And I heard like whenever you are doing solo trips that you're supposed to start small and then you know work your way up to like <laughs> bigger uh than bigger places because i consider new york obviously the big city right so i'm like nervous i'm still working on getting a plus one but it may not happen but you know girl i gotta put on my little big girl panties and i gotta do what i do okay because i can't be nervous for the rest of my life on going places by myself or whatever so yeah i'm going to new york fashion week i've been invited to some shows so yeah this video is going to be a prep with me um pack with me you know type vlog or whatever so if you are interested in like that then that's what it's going to be um nothing really too much interesting i got my big girl memory card in 256 gigs so okay we got a lot we got a lot of content that we can go through i'm going to be there um from the 9th i believe let me put my thing in yeah from september 9th through the 14th right now kind of like lay out my um i'm gonna lay out my what i'm trying to say i'm gonna lay out my clothes i'm gonna show you some few stuff that i have here but i'm also gonna be making like tiktok videos and things like that so yeah so I got a package from like Miss Lola and I think that this, so if y'all remember what I was talking about, like these strokeable like fabrics, it's like these little faux like feather top, look very cute, has like this little uh, zip up thing whatever like a little zipper in the back i got this from miss lola i just got this in how gorgeous is this i think this will be perfect like it screams to me personally like new york fashion week um i just gotta figure out like what type of bottoms that i want to wear with it i want it to be a statement but i'm not exactly sure like what i want to do with this just yet i also got this right here um from miss lola it's like a little wrap dress zebra print whatever i'm not sure how i'm wearing this just yet or if I am even wearing that to New York Fashion Week. But yeah, that's that. I got this bag. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, it's like a dupe. <laughs> um, it ain't the real thing, girl. It ain't gonna be the real thing anytime soon because I can't even picture myself spending that type of money on that particular bag. That's why your girl ain't got no Chanel yet because I'm like, how much? Eight for the small, 10 for the large. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I'm like, I, I be thinking like, dang, I can, you know, do a little something else. But anyway, I got this or whatever. I love this color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I took off all like the paper, but it was like packaged really, really well. Like I was quite impressed. Like this is actually really good quality. It does come with like a little um, strap and this is how it looks. So I think this may go with me because it's a very like neutral bag. But then I don't know. And then I got these shoes. So it's like these little shoes that has like, I can't explain, I'm gonna show you. But this is still very cute to um, bring as well. It's just like a strappy, you know, situation or whatever. But then you have a sock to go underneath. I can't explain it, but I was so excited for these shoes. Let me see if I can put it on. I try to get a size 10. If this can fit my feet, it definitely fits my feet. <laughs> this is so weird. So with that top, I want something that's like a pop of color, but I don't know. I might not even like the way this shoe is. Oh, this shoe is definitely given. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. This is given. Okay, let me bring the camera down. Sorry, y'all. Forgive my room. It's a mess. Can y'all see? But this is how it looks. The shoe is giving, baby. It is giving. 
wow this is so freaking cute oh my gosh <laughs> what's that say? oh my god <laughs> this is gorgeous i am in love i did tie it like a little funky here and i can still like make it a little bit tighter but it's so many different ways that you can obviously tie this tie this like if you want to you can just do like a little crisscross you know type moment here up the leg you know what i mean and that's that so you can do something like that i'm just tying it any type of way because again so many different ways you can tie this but it's really giving i love it and then like i said you can wear it separately they didn't have many more sizes left but i was glad they had my size so this is just like how the shoe looks it's just really plain and then it comes with this like sock here this faux leather sock so it looks like this i love this shoe like oh my gosh i'm so glad i got it Ooh, i'm a breath girl so i got that i also picked up some of these like hand sanitizers i have one in my bag right now it came in a set of four um but i picked up these like little travel size hand sanitizers from uh what is this place called amazon <laughs> and i have different scents so i have spice bergamot and then eucalyptus and then the other one i think is lavender i have that in my bag right now so yeah i got that i'm gonna eat my food really quick and then i'm gonna come back and then i'm gonna show you what i'm doing as far as like packing and the suitcase and stuff like that so i got a new tripod which is what i see a lot of people you know using but it ain't my favorite but it's all right okay we're gonna make it work the only thing about this is i don't know how to like close it so i have to read the instructions so i can um be able to close this so yeah all right so i'm just gonna kind of go over some things like really quick the room is gonna look a mess but we just gonna have to go with it i was trying to figure out like if i wanted to bring both suitcases because that is really a lot this would definitely be checked and this would be my carry-on i really feel like i no matter what need a carry-on because like <laughs> you never know what can happen and at least you would have that because i always like to try and put like my most valuable items or whatever the case may be in my carry-on an extra outfit you know whatever i need in my carry-on because again like i said you never know what can happen so i'm definitely for sure bringing a carry-on but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all of my outfits as far as like with the pieces and stuff like that and just the carry one. So we'll see. This is a matte black rolling suitcase. It is from um, it is from Away Suitcases. I actually really love these suitcases. Um, 360, uh, very durable. I got the hard one. It has a lock here at the top. Um, and yeah this is just how it looks you can get it monogram you know you can customize it i think they have obviously different colors and then again here's the lock at the top so that's that and the uh, carry-on comes with a portable um like charger and stuff like that but it's not in here i don't know where it's at <laughs> um and then here's the same one it's the medium size here obviously they have expandable ones as well but this is not expandable um and again it's the hard case the only thing it doesn't come with is the portable charger that is only um in the carry one if you guys know me if you've been watching some of my other like vlogs where i did like a prep with me for a vacay type moment i always keep my packing cubes because i get those from amazon you're gonna see that probably a little bit later on i always keep those packing cubes in my uh, suitcase so i don't lose them so i pretty much got everything in here as you guys know i just got this um so usually it will be some sort of like a tote bag also really quick just because i'm telling you guys about it i just want to mention it i have this i don't know if this is called base this I forgot like what they call it, but it's like a weekender bag. This will be, can also be used as like a carry-on bag. I've also used this like my personal item. It is a big big. You may get away with it sometimes, may not, I don't know. But the last time I used this, I think I went to DC and I, I only took the carry-on 
and this as my personal item and I was able to get away with it. Um, I just put it under the seat and it was good. Really can't fill this up to the T, but it's called like the Weekender bag and I love this bag, I'm not gonna lie. I use this bag to take pictures with, like um, if it's like if I'm doing a content day. Again, matte black, I just like black. But it has like a little zipper right here. It has this little zipper compartment down here which it holds like anything else you want, whether it's like shoes or just any other extra stuff here, it holds it down there. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is that as you can see, it's not staying, you know, and the way that it should, like it's pushed out and stuff. But yeah, zipper has lots of compartments has lots of space and compartments in here um it's it also fits your laptop um it also has like a little thing here like a little attachment i don't know if you can see for your keys so you're not losing that and then it just folds together and zips up but also it does like open wide so i love this bag i'm just not going to carry this because um I don't really want no issues. But I just wanted to show y'all that. But yeah, this is going to be my personal item that I'm going to um, carry, which I'm so excited. Like I said, I just bought this. So usually whenever it comes to my personal item, I'm carrying some type of tote bag, whether it's this, this, but this is giving me more vacay type vibes versus this, this gives me more, I mean, you can obviously see the difference, like very much more like laid back. This gives me vacay vibes, this gives me more like casual laid back. Oh yeah, we're gonna see what this gives. This will be my first time carrying that. But... good start I'm about to take Zane out but I think I got a good start to some things and I feel like I just want another dinner outfit maybe one to two dinner outfits because I am going to be there like I think for four or five days I think it's gonna be four days um but at least you know another dinner outfit um or two more dinner outfits and then I just have some casual wear I think I'll be good like pretty much set um there's like I said one outfit I'm absolutely in love with. Like there's two outfits that I know that I would definitely wear to a show. And then some of these outfits are honestly just for like the pictures and vibes or whatever, but honestly, or just like real like content. I like a few of these looks, I really do. So yeah, I'm about to take Zane outside and then we'll come back um, later on or maybe the next day. Like I said, it's a prep with me vlog. So, you know, I'm not gonna vlog like the whole day or me prepping because I still have some time. Like I still have like a week and some change. I have about a week. So I'm still gonna like sort through some things and see like what it's giving, what it's not. And I have to try on the things that, you know, I feel like I wanted to wear like to a show or just like for a picture because like if I don't like it, there's no need for me to bring it because that's just wasting space. Hello everybody, good morning. I think it's still morning. I'm not sure because my phone is right there. I'm about to do like a TikTok of me packing some of my clothes. Today is Friday, September 2nd. Oh my gosh, hello fall. Fall is literally almost here. Um, we're not feeling it just yet, but it's almost here and I'm so excited, like really, really excited. So I'm about to start packing for New York Fashion Week. Y'all seen a little bit of me like planning but that's really all the outfits that I had. And I was like, okay, let me try and buy some more outfits. But I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. But I am going to go to Zara whenever I get to uh, New York. Because a lot of my shows are going to be on Saturday, I believe. So I'm going to arrive that Friday. So probably later on that day, I will um, go to like Zara. Or I may, you know, go on like a Sunday or like whenever I have like some free time or whatever. But I'm definitely going to go to Zara. I know it's probably going to be packed because a lot of the hotels um are <laughs> kind of like packed as well from what i can see i just got this cup from starbucks it's a recyclable cup so yeah this will be my first time actually going to like events and shows and things like that so i'm really trying to figure out like the vibe like i don't know if you go like dressed up or done up or if you you kind of like laid back but at the end of the day i'm gonna do what i do and that's just that on that like 
you know i don't know but anyway that's besides the point also it's no longer going to be a solo trip because bridget is coming it's, it probably would have been nice to do a solo trip just to like you know see how I maneuver in the city things like that but i'm not even gonna lie your girl was scared as shit charlotte scares me like going in uptown charlotte like, that scares me so like imagine being in a big hustle and bustle type city like oh my god like i would literally just <laughs> i would just have anxiety the whole freaking time and then like i was looking up things on like tiktok um as far as like with new york fashion week just to try to get the vibe or whatever and then tiktok kept like showing me videos of people having bad encounters in new york and i'm just like that's gonna be me gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be on the tiktok i'm gonna be the one being like y'all i just got such and such or whatever i'm not claiming that energy but i'm just saying like why are you showing me this now god like that's what i was like why are you showing me this now like and then i just kind of figured like dang it's because i've been searching uh new york fashion week and just new york and you know the algorithm is just bringing me to these new yorkers that are having these experiences or whatever so it really like made me feel a little bit more uneasy so i'm so glad that it's no longer a solo trip so we're gonna start off with these like three things here as far as like what i pack my whole aesthetic has changed like i wish i had the black but I have these pink and I'm just not gonna change them. Amazon literally have so many different type of travel accessories, if you wanna call it. Um, and I highly, highly um, recommend them. But I've had these for so long, like literally for probably like a few years now, like since 2019. I travel with them all the time. They're still wonderful. Um, they're still great quality, um, just everything. So yeah. Um, these are from the brand called Bag Smart. Again, everything will be listed in the description box below and it will be on my Amazon storefront in my travel section. So make sure you check that out. So this is like what it is. And it's in this like dusty pink color. I'm just coming up so you guys can see it a little bit. So this is just the vibes of it. I have three different things here. Um, one is a toiletry organizer. One is a jewelry organizer and the other one is a, um, electronic organizer or something like that or tech organizer whatever you want to call it so here's my toiletry organizer i absolutely love this now i will say one thing about it is it can get pretty like big because of the stuff that i have if you overpack it will get like a little bit bulky um and the bulkiness is not good if you want to just do like a carry on but you can probably if it's like travel size stuff you can just throw it in here and then put it on your like personal and your personal item you know things like that so i think that would be nice but anyway so this is how it looks it has a handle here so it's easy to carry to the bathroom it opens up like this and then one thing that i love is that it has like little flaps so as you can see here i already have some stuff in here because i just keep them in there and also it has like this little hook here so you can hook it in the bathroom and then you can just have all your products right there and it also has like a little pocket right here if you need anything right there so yeah the next thing here if you don't care about this part like I said, you can kind of skip over some things. This is the tech organizer. Um, again, it has like little zippers here. This is what will go on my personal, in my personal bag. I'm gonna put like my chargers, memory card, AirPods, all that stuff like in here. And it's gonna keep it like organized. And then this is my jury organizer. This is how it looks. So it has a place for like your rings. It has some pockets here for like your personal items. So say if you have like a very expensive watch, you can just put it right in here in this little pocket. Or if you have like a very expensive necklace, you can put it in this pocket. So it's like so many different things. It has this little flap right here. If you see, it has like little holes in here. So you can put your like earrings um, in here. And this part right here is for your necklace. So you literally just open and then you put your necklace on. And then you slide them through these little things here and then it has another little pocket right here but it keeps it all like nice and organized so it's not moving around and things like that um again i find like even though it is even though it does have like a lot of space for your stuff i just feel like less is more like you don't want to fill this all the way up and again it has like a little handle here so you can like easily carry it around so that's all that I have for bags from Bagsmart. These are my packing cubes. I have showed you guys these so many times. Nothing changes, okay? Nothing changes. So I have these packing cubes here. They're like this kind of like nude color. And it comes in like so many different sizes. So we have like this large one right here for like, you know, sweaters, jeans, t-shirts, things like this. We have a small one right here. So if you want to put your undergarments in here. And then we have 
like this one right here which has like a little uh handle if you can see um and this one is for i, I believe it's for like shoes and i've and just depending on what type of shoes you like have i've seen this fit like two pair of shoes like heels obviously they have to because it kind of resembles like a shoe box if you can see it but like I said, just depending on what type of shoes you have, you can put a lot of sandals in here. Like you can probably get about three or four pairs of sandals in here. And then for heels, I think I can get like two pairs of heels in here. And then I can put some sandals like on top of it. Um, just as long as you don't care about like, I don't want to say you don't care, but as long as the, you don't care about the integrity. Sorry, you guys, I'm looking out the window. It's, as long as you don't care about the integrity a little bit of your shoes, where you're like, if your sandals, like you can put them in there. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that. But it's this makeup organizer. It's again from Amazon. And I don't know the brand name, but this is what it looks like. And it's like all black. I got this from my girl Kayla Kate. She's here on YouTube. I'll try to like tag her down below. I'm out of breath. Um <laughs> And it's like this little makeup organizer and like, I think they have like different sizes. I don't know what size I got, but like I said, I would like leave it down below. And when I seen this on one of her vlogs, I was like, oh my God, like I need that because I really just, and I'm not gonna lie, like this has definitely helped me out like a lot and helped my makeup stay in one place. But it's so many like different compartments here and you can like these little black things, like as you can see, just take it out they're removable so you can definitely if you want this more of a bigger space you can or if you want more of a smaller space or you want this longer it's up to you on how you want to like do it so um i like that part and it does come with a few more but i just took it out because this is like the way this works for me like this little setup right here works for me and then you can put your brushes then it covers that and then you can also slide in maybe a palette or something like up there like this is my favorite eyeshadow palette which is the morphe palette so as you can see it's like fits perfectly on top and then you can close it as long as you're not doing the most with your brushes you know what i mean because sometimes with the brushes it makes it a little bit more bulkier and it's hard to like it still will work but as long as you're not doing the most with your brushes and the palette if that makes sense then you'll it'll work just fine um I will say I would avoid, and you see how that just fits perfectly in there. I usually put this palette right here and this little part right here fits perfectly in there. But if you can see, girl, I'm so ashy, I'm sorry. But if you can see, like you see how the um it shattered the glass. I would just avoid putting any palette with glass in that like zipper part um because just depending on how you traveling what's pressing up against it it might be too much pressure and it will shatter so that's all that i just wanted to show you those are like the key things that i take just to kind of try and stay like organized and things like that <laughs> I pretty much packed a lot of stuff and everything that I'm going to take is like in here. Um, I am going to carry, like I said, my carry on. Um, I got most of my shoes in here, but I'm definitely going to take like some sneakers and stuff like that or whatever because I care about my sneakers and I care about like my dad's sandals that I got from Steve Madden. I care about those. <laughs> the rest of these shoes, like I definitely care about them, but they're not like, you know what I mean? I can't explain it, but you get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I have shapewear and I'm trying to figure out which shapewear I want to bring. These are the like shapewear I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with yet. I know I'm definitely going to bring this. And I think it won't hurt to bring just one of each. <laughs> I'm probably going to end up changing like this area right here and also that area. But um, do people fold <laughs> their army garments? If you do get shapewear from Skims, which I really do like, I recommend like if you get the like unitards like this 
and then it has like the thong or like the uh i don't know if it's called a unitard but you get what i'm saying or it has like the briefs or whatever like this i don't know if you can see it um then i recommend you getting um you can like stay your size but going up a size will give you a little bit more room if you get the ones that have like the shorts or whatever definitely go up a size girl definitely go up a size like there's no way, <laughs> literally no way you can make that work. What I really need to do now is pack my toiletries, jewelry, makeup, um, tech and camera. I just gotta like figure that out so it can be as safe as possible. Like I need to cushion it. Like I'm tired, I don't feel like doing anything right now. <laughs> like I'm done. Like I feel like I've been doing this for at least an hour and I don't feel like doing it no more. All right, so I'll pick up the camera again the next time I'm doing some more like packing and stuff like that next week we'll do my hair i'm just gonna wash my hair and just do the um bob that i was like originally thinking about i'll show you guys like what that looks like it's a v part hello everybody today is today is tuesday september 6th um this is like what day three four i don't really remember <laughs> of packing um <clears throat> of packing had breakfast coffee got zane situated um so i'm about to continue to like pack my carry on i'm gonna pack a little bit of my makeup even though i do have to wash my makeup brushes i have this little makeup brush cleaner or something like that that's coming um so i can wash that today arriving between 1 to 4 p.m today so that would be that. I just got this sunglass organizer. Amazon, I have some press on nails. It is out for delivery, but we'll see. I won't lie, you guys, my mood is just like, mm, I don't know why. These are just the moods that, you know, you just go through. I don't really know, but we gotta, we gotta, we gotta push through or whatever. Um, I just got a package from White Fox Boutique. so i have this top like this little crew neck here and it just says what does it say beverly hills established 2013 white fox los angeles and with that i have these shorts i'm gonna try them on later shorts to like go with them i think that's cute they have pockets so really nice and cute to wear all right, the next thing I got I'm really excited about because like I just really love how it looks. It's super big, but I really want that kind of oversized look. So as you can see, it's kind of like this corduroy, you know, type material. Very cute. It just says White Fox here. Um, it's like this charcoal gray. So again, another crew neck. If you don't want to like put it all the way on, you can have like a little tank top and then you can just kind of fold it here like how I have right there and then just place it over your shoulders if you don't mind that look here's the pants or the joggers that come with it oh my gosh i thought it was going to be a little bit more like softer lightweight but a little bit more structured um and the material like just looking at it you would think that they're soft but they're not but anyway um it just has like the white fox here on the side and then it comes down to like a little you know taper type look has like a little elastic band here on the ankle so I like this look. I have to figure, figure out like how I'm going to wear or if I will be wearing that. And the last thing I got from them is like this little corset look. I think it's really cute. So it could definitely give me vibes. I like how it looks. Let me step out so you can guys can see it. And it does have adjustable straps. And then like this little cute little cut out dip in the front so cute don't mind my nails you guys i'm gonna do some press on as y'all can see i already have like everything laid out and then also the makeup um i have the brushes that needs to be washed like literally all i have to do is my toilet trees so yeah we're gonna pack jewelry tech and then um i see that my amazon package is getting closer to me so uh we probably will be able to pack my sunglasses um, and we're gonna pack my makeup. So I'm gonna do all I can today. Um, so tomorrow I won't have much to do. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now.
Just got my Amazon package. What you have to okay, so I got this sunglass holder in all black, you know. This is how it looks. Turn the brightness up a little bit. I mean, this way. So yeah, this is how it looks. I got two of these. I think they look really realistic. And then I got two sets or like two sets of nails. They may be like the same, but I just really didn't know the difference. And I'm just gonna try them on to see which one I like. But I decided just to go with like a French tip all around fingers as well as toes. So I got those. This is the one I currently use. Um, but yeah, I love this one. It's a stainless steel one. They do have, um, not this brand. Well, they may, I don't know, but they do have disposable ones, which I like as well. The stainless steel really be doing it for me. I got some beauty blenders here, just all black. Then this is what I was waiting for. I don't have like one of these. And I seen somebody have this on TikTok, but it's a brush rinsing pad. So it has like, let me show you. I gotta turn the brightness up. So this is what it has. So it's easily able to like really get in there and you can scrub, blah, blah. And then it has like this little suction cup so it doesn't go anywhere. But yeah, this is what I needed for to clean my brushes. I decided to get this makeup brush sponge shampoo for a deep weekly cleanse. It says that it's fragrance free, dermatologist tested. Um, it's from Eco Tools here. And um, this one had like a lot of reviews. I think I've seen a few people talk about this here, but I got this, um, mm, I don't know what it's called. It's a mobile phone LED light. We're gonna check it out just to see how it is because I am gonna be doing, Zany, I am going to be doing a lot of, and it's like small, but I am going to be doing a lot of like content. Y'all, I literally do not read instructions. Like I'm just going to assume that this is what you do. And then the last thing I got, a little travel bag for Zane. Came in this little thing right here. It's a travel bag for the man. Let the people see you. So here's his new bag. It's supposed to be an airport travel bag. Um, and it does have like a little sleeve here, as you can see, where you can put it um, on your suitcase. So it's so many different like little things, like, you know, components to this bag. Um, a lot of just like compartments here in the front to the side, even inside it has like a lot of, you know, compartments. Oh, I think this is like a mat for him to like eat on so it don't get dirty. Comes with like a shoulder strap here, adjustable. And I don't know what this is. I think this is like for the food. So you can put like the food in here and stuff. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna figure it out later. And then it comes with where is the bag? It has another little bag here as well. I don't know what you can put in here, but I'm gonna check it out soon. And then it comes with two feeding bowls, collapsible feeding bowls, which is so nice. So just all my pet parents out there, um, this could just be their own personal travel feeding bowl for food, water, you know? So I like that. And then again, you can just easily slide it into the bag and then it has like this little divider right here that you can put inside the bag as well to divide things up this is how it will be like i think this is so cute in case you are traveling with your dog and then they have other colors it may look like it's kind of like a little ashy gray like an ash black you know what i'm saying but yeah, so cute. So that's all I got. Um, that's all I got from Amazon. Now I'm about to do the eyeglasses and then we're gonna go and do the toiletries.
and I need to pick up some stuff for Zane and then I need to and I have to like stop by Ulta because Ulta canceled my order this morning they said something about a payment issue I don't understand I didn't want to go in I just wanted them to do whatever for me so I could just do the curbside like what's the point if I gotta go in anyway so anyway I gotta go in there pick up a few items um and then I'll just be coming back I'll just continue to do laundry I'm gonna wash Zane's clothes and not clothes I'm gonna wash his blankets um just so they can be nice and fresh at my parents house all right you guys so I made it to the eyebrow appointment um I'm just waiting for a little bit because it's not until 3 30 and it's 3 21 I've been trying to be on time just being a better person I'm sitting here just like daydreaming I don't know what I'm doing all right let me go in here all right you guys so i am back i got my eyebrows henna did them way darker this time than normal um just so they can like last a little bit longer like as they lighten up so they are definitely like darker now but this is how they look on day three and four they be looking like so good all right so i made it back home i'm going to do like a mini haul I just finished walking zane he's drinking water as you can tell I'm about to wash some clothes and then i guess i'm going to wash my hair i don't i don't feel like it i know i said in a car that i was going to allow the eyebrows to kind of like naturally fade on their own um which i am but i probably will wash them like maybe once or twice just so it can be more of like a natural like look but i will probably wait until they stop i'll probably wait till like friday these nails that i showed you guys the other day that i got from amazon literally looks like this they do not fit which it sucks because they're so cute so i tried some more and we'll see how that is they never fit my thumb i got the acrylic natural which looks like this i've actually y'all don't mind my nails like i literally need to do them but it looks like this which i actually um have had these before and then i got these classy nails but this is how they look I'm trying not to have a glare on them but they have like a little french tip but then they also have like a little white little thing i don't know what to call it like a little white design at the cuticle i got these um eyelashes the double up i got the travel size chi um silk infusion for my hair yeah i got this for my hair uh, i got the sexy hair big spray play and then i got the sexy hair big spray play big spray and play hairspray travel size i got another anastasia beverly hills um brow wiz in the color ebony this is something new now this is what what made me order at 3 45 a.m in the morning um i was on tiktok and i seen this girl uh try this fenty beauty hot chocolate gloss balm we about to try it on camera it did have like lip liner on but whatever you know to make it like look better but i just want to try it because oh my gosh like it was really giving a girl so let's see uh, i mean it's not that it's not that it's not giving it looks good it looks very pretty very natural as you can see but it just gives me the same vibe as the other lip gloss that um the other gloss bombs that i have because i have glass slipper and then i have i can't remember the other one like the original one that first came out and then this one is called hot chocolate but it just gives me the same vibe but i think i just have to try it on with um the lip liner because like i said the girls had lip liner on and it looked so good and i was like yes i'm gonna try with the lip liner and then we'll see what it's given from there but yeah anyway the next thing i got was the complexion obsession kit by morphe now i wasn't even planning on getting this i only wanted this i only got this because of the travel size continue with setting spray here um that's the only reason why i got it now they did have a continue with this was 20 dollars, and then there was the continue with setting spray by itself is 11 dollars, and it's sold individually and i was going to get that one but it was the last one there and it looked a little bit played over it looked like you know people may have sprayed it and i just didn't like that because if i'm gonna pay 11 dollars, i want all my product so i thought that this would be the best because it comes in an actual little kit and on top of it coming in um a little kit you know nobody's touched it so that's what i got so apparently it comes with the mini continuous setting spray a beauty blender and then like i guess they're setting 
powder, so it's wrapped nicely. That was pretty much it, honestly. I did get a package from Amazon, the blender case that I ordered. First of all, y'all, is the skin skinning? Yeah, I've been using this new product. Okay, it's Dermatica. Like, literally, I've been using Dermatica. It's like straight, and I can see a little bit of an improvement as I go on with treatment. Um, like they increase. I guess like the ingredients to make it a little bit more stronger but just starting out like I think it looks super good I've been doing my skin routine every single night and I literally feel like I've been seeing like a little difference but anyway so I got this beauty blender um, holder and um, I got it in all black of course I got this from Amazon this is how it looks it's a travel case so what you do is you literally just put your beauty blender in here I'm actually gonna show you since I just got this beauty blender here from Morphe. And then you literally just open it here. Here's the beauty blender. My thing is all over the place right now. And then you just stick it in there. I ordered these shoes for fall, not necessarily for fashion week, but they're just now getting here. The girl who's talking about this, I've seen this on TikTok, y'all. TikTok got a hold on me. They got a hold on me. Baby, what a shoe. Look at this. What a shoe, what a shoe. I got a size 10, so I hope it fits. That's a shoe. That is most definitely a shoe. I cannot wait to try that on. And it's giving you your fashion week vibes as well. Here's another thing I found. So I was cleaning out my closet. I did a really good job. Y'all will be so proud of me because I know I've been talking about this for months now, like literally four months. But um, I have went through all the boxes and I have cleaned everything out. But while I was doing that, I found this box here. I went through shoes, I went through accessories, I went through outerwear, I went through everything, literally everything. And I found these shoes here while I was cleaning out and I forgot I had them. Like literally I forgot I had them. But these are New York Fashion Week worthy, I feel like. Now this ain't nothing new, okay? It ain't nothing new. The girls been on this. They stink because they've literally been in a box for probably like over a year now. Um, I've never worn these. Never worn these. So yeah, nothing new, but days a days a moment, okay? Days a moment. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything I got. So yeah, Hello, y'all. So I am about to do my hair. I'm gonna put this wig in. This wig is a V part wig that I got from I think Nadula Hair. It was longer, but I did cut it because I just don't like really long hair on me. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Do not judge me. My hair is extremely thin and like broken off here um, around the edges. I know this style literally is not making it any better. I, I truly know that. I have to do my hair some way for New York and yeah. So I dropped Zane off today at my parents' house. So that's good. I'm so sad. Like every time I'm going on a trip, I always be so sad. Like even though I know I be needing a break, but I always be sad because like, Ah, uh, that's my baby. Like I literally am here all the time. Like every single time with him. So it's just like feels weird not having him here. But anyway, this may be actually too small. We wanna see what it's giving. All right, this is how my hair looks. The braids. All right, so I'm finished with my hair. Absolutely hate it. I did put it on like a little claw clip, but it's giving very much grandma. Um, I just wanted to see like how it would look. Um, I really do not like it whatsoever. I feel like it's very like thick hair. I did try to, um, make it like thin it out a little bit, but I am not a hairstylist. I did what I could. I put like a few like very loose curls in it, but again, it's just not giving... And I haven't did my edges yet, so I will be like bringing them down like a little bit, like right here. I barely got anything to bring down. Um, so I will be bringing these down a little bit. I'm literally so freaking sad. But I leave tomorrow and it's almost 10 o'clock at night. So there's nothing that I can do. I'm going to have to try 
and make this one all right girls so today is friday september 9th and today is the day we're headed to new york fashion week i am finished with packing and everything i have a check bag carry on bag and my tote and this is the airport outfit but i'll show you that in the other vlog let me show you i did my nails so this is how they look they're just like press-ons and i got the same on my toes um and that's that and this is my hair i just have it like back in this little claw clip, you know, type thing. That's really it. Thank you so much for watching this pack with me, prep with me vlog. Um, I know it was a little bit like up and down or whatever the case may be. But I do hope that you found something useful out of this video, whether it was like the luggage or like the packing cubes, or whatever, for your next trip. So yeah, thank you so much. And make sure you tune into the New York Fashion Week vlog. It will be coming soon after this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.